Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading will resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have the Queen with the Bee. I'm told to take one more. The Owl. Okay, so I'm seeing the Queen Bee here. Somebody thinks you're the Bee's knees, definitely. But we have deception with it. It looks like someone's been holding back exactly how they feel about you or what they truly see you as. Okay. We have I Want You with I Replay Our Conversations Over and Over. Yes, yeah, somebody's been keeping it a secret here how much uh, they feel for you and what they do truly think overall energy seven of cups this is about illusions of grandeur here somebody's definitely fantasizing as well as needing to make a decision okay see needing to see things very clearly so let's see what's going on in your energy this week We have Chariot, Death, Two of Swords. So if it's been stressful here, possibly in the last two months, it looks like things are uh, getting a lot better. It looks like things are looking up as well. Uh, I do see that, you know, when it comes to relationships or someone specific you've been dealing with, uh, you kind of feel like you just need to leave that in the past. You really do just want to move on from this. Uh, you're ending this indecisive state. Uh, you feel like as well that your hands have been kind of tied in this, that uh, you didn't really have a choice, but you're tired of really assessing it and uh, having it stress you out. So you're just moving forward here, okay, doing what's best for you. So let's see what's going on with your person's energy. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Moon card. So this person behind the scenes is definitely fantasizing here, but they cannot get you off their mind. They are constantly uh, in their emotions dreaming about a future as well as uh, the possibilities that you bring to the table. It's almost in a sense here, uh, they haven't let you know exactly how they feel, but they really do cherish you and there is a sense of fear and uh, loss that they're really afraid that possibly they uh, went about this the wrong way, okay? Tell me about the moon card. Three of cups, ten of cups, yeah. It's this uh, fear that they may not have their happily ever after, after all, right? So this could be a third party. It's already showing up a little bit for some of you. Uh, but it doesn't have to be. It's just showing that they know now that their happiest times, whenever they feel good, is when they think of you. Uh, and it's something that they've not been able to express or really prove to you, show you here. Could be distance as well here uh, for some. So let's see what's happened in the past. They also view you as a very grounded person. Somebody that's always kind of supported them or been there for them in some way. Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. They really seen you in the beginning. It's almost like love at first sight. It's that initial feeling. Uh, but they were too fearful to ever let you know or see this, okay? And I do see that they thought that, you know, you there's no way. This person's so, too good to be true. I have to kind of prove this wrong, uh, this narrative that I have because nobody can fulfill every desire that I, I dream of here. That's just not possible. And so they made you wait here, Seven of Pentacles Temperance, being very patient. And some of you had patience of a saint because uh, you kept investing in them. You were always there for them, but you didn't really get anything back. You didn't really feel like this person could be there for you. So at times where you were stressed out or you had turmoil, you could never turn to them. It seemed like either they made it all about themselves here, Nine of Cups, or they were just too uncomfortable to deal with it that they would run. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Two of Cups, Six of Wands. I mean, my goodness, Sagittarius. You had such loyalty to them. Uh, it seemed like they were all about the control, not letting their emotions control them. So they felt like they had to take action and kind of push you back at times too. 
Uh, they didn't want you to leave the connection, but they really felt like uh, they needed to hold back. It really stressed them out to just give their all. Okay, so let's see what the challenge is here. Let's find out why. Hanged man, queen of swords, and the three of wands. Yeah, you became very intimidating for this person. I do see for some of them, uh, they do have another feminine energy in their environment that really caused havoc or waves here, drama, or didn't approve of you or this connection. There's something here, not for everyone, uh, but it is showing up, so I have to say it. But with the Queen of Swords as well, it kind of felt like, you know, you they knew you were not going to deal with any kind of BS. They knew that you were going to be very upfront and honest. And uh, they kind of had to run circles around that because they knew they had to own up to their feelings. So in a sense, they made you wait and always long for them to come back. And when they came back, it felt like they were only back for just a little bit and they wanted, you know, to talk about something else other than the relationship at times. Or they can be very uh, detached here. Okay, hanged man. Kind of like just leaving it like, oh, surface level conversation and then running away. Okay, tell us the hanged man. Page of Swords, Two of Wands. Yeah, where do we go from here? So this person was constantly overanalyzing. You know, what do I do next? How am I going to handle this? Like, uh, it feels like I don't, I'm not that much. I don't, I'm not worth that much for my Sagittarius to be able to uh, be happy with. This is a kind of mentality that some of them had. Okay, but they knew they needed to make a decision. Like, time was ticking here. There was uh, a stress of time of being of the essence. And uh, with the Three of Wands, if there's distance between you two physically, uh, it looks like that they would have to uproot a lot uh, in their life. This would created a lot of fear for them as well. Tell us the Three of Wands. Knight of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. If there is a third party, uh, they felt like it was really hard to detach from the other due to possible responsibility or finances here, okay? And it felt like the more they felt trapped in that, they longed for you. So they really had to stop their emotions, stop trying to think about it because every time they did talk to you or try to open up a little bit, uh, it would make it worse for them because they would long for you more. So they thought it's better for you to long for them uh, and never want to leave the connection, but not have them be completely miserable while they're dealing with two situations. Okay, and those of you not in a third party, uh, they definitely felt the need uh, to make a decision so that they can bridge this gap or be with you in the 3D realm, but they felt like it's a lot of pressure put on their plate because they had to make it happen. They kind of felt like the ball was in their court and they didn't know if they had it in them. Okay, so let's see what action they're going to take, but I see in the current moment... It's like they can't take it anymore. They have to kind of come forward, clear the air, uh, let you know, you know, even the embarrassing things that they want to express to you and why they kind of pushed you off. Ace of Cups, King of Cups Tower. We have an unexpected uh, event happening here. So be forewarned. This person is about to turn their heart's desires into something real and tangible. Okay, so... This means coming towards you in a way that uh, can be quite shocking, okay? So if this reading is resonating with you, in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what this unexpected event is, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If not, if this is your last stop, I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you next time.